New at five, the granddaughter of Bethune Cookman's founder pleaded no contest today to taking money from a nonprofit that gives Bethune Cookman students scholarships. Channel 9's Mike Springer is live in Daytona Beach tonight. Mike, her attorney told you she may not qualify for any jail time. And members of that nonprofit group told me here at court that would just be unconscionable to them if it happened. In fact, they tell me this theft has crippled their organization so they can no longer give out scholarships and they may even have to dissolve. Emotional or mental health concerns. Flanked by her attorney while wearing her red and blue turtleneck sweater, Evelyn Bethune gave short and concise answers and showed no emotion as she pleaded no contest to charges of grand theft and a scheme to defraud. You understand um, what a no contest plea means? Yes. Bethune, the granddaughter of Mary McLeod Bethune, the founder of Bethune Cookman University, is accused of taking $23,000 from the Daytona Beach chapter of the National League of American Pen Women while she worked as its treasurer. The nonprofit gives scholarships to students, including some that go to BCU. The theft, the group says, has left them without funds to offer any more scholarships or even stay open. We'll never see that money. The woman's 66 years old. She owns no house, no car. Where is she going to get that kind of money at that age? Police say Bethune spent the money on herself to pay for doctor's visits, eating out, and getting her nails done. Bethune declined to comment after, but her attorney says she's willing to accept any jail time if a judge orders it. She wants to get it over. I think the community wants to get it over. Her attorney adds Bethune is collecting money from family and friends to pay back the group. She's facing a maximum of 25 years, but her attorney feels she won't get any jail time because of the charges here, as well as her record. Now she'll be sentenced March 25th, March 26th. Reporting live in Daytona Beach, Mike Springer, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.